Hey there guys, um, as you can tell by the title, I'm building a PC, and it's a budget PC, because I really, with my paper on budget, uh, paper on wages, I cannot afford much, but I've managed to get the costs down ridiculously, it's unbelievable how much you can build a computer for. Um, I'm just going to tell you how much this has all cost me now. Um, including the case, the case isn't here yet, but it's in the post. Um, a hundred and fifteen pound <laughs> for all of the components. I still got to buy a monitor and a keyboard and all that crap. But a hundred and fifteen pound, guys, for a system. I think that is unbelievable. The only reason why I'm making this is one, because I've already, I've always made, wanted to make a computer, and two, to run Windows programs. I don't miss Windows, but there is programs we, we, which are only available for Windows, and they get on my nerves. So I just built this to fill the hole, basically. Um, so I want to show you around the parts now, and um, I'll do the CPU installation as well, and the heatsink and all that. But first off, then let's go. It's an AMD Sempron 145. It's a single core 2.8 gigahertz, which single core is barely heard of nowadays. But uh, as I said, I'm uh, doing basic tasks on this, and I can always update, uh, upgrade when I feel like it when I have the money. Um, really nice chip. I'll be unboxing that later. Hard drive. I got this for a fiver of a friend. It's an 80 gig. I can just say it says 80 gig somewhere. And my camera is not going to want to focus. Anyway, it's an 80 gig SATA hard drive. Nothing to it. Maxter. I'm just get using an 80 gig to get the thing off of speed. I'm probably going to stick a 500 or a terabyte drive in there in the future, but it'll serve its purpose. Fine, you can't go wrong. Here's the RAM, 1333 MHz DDR3 4GB Kingston memory. This may sound ridiculous, I've never had 4GB <laughs> in a system before. The most I've had in a system is a Core 2 Duo, uh, the most powerful system I've ever used is a Core 2 Duo uh, Windows 7 machine with 2GB of RAM. So I think I'll appreciate this system more than most. And now we're on to the bollocks. We're on to the motherboard. It's a Gigabyte M68 MTS2 Rev1. Um, it has the NVIDIA GeForce 7025 on board. And um, AM3 socket. 35 quid. Really good reviews on it. So I thought, yeah, why not? Best value for money. And uh, hopefully this thing will work. It's got Japanese caps as well, which to some people may not mean that much, but it's a big thing to me. It make, I, I think uh, all your Japanese parts are a lot more reliable than cheapy Taiwan or sweatshop parts. Anyway, so we're going to go into it now, uh, opening the motherboard. You've got your utility CD and a bunch of documentation. I have already once opened this. It's the only manual I, I will read, really. That and the chip. But that's. Yeah. One SATA cable. I just tested the hard drive on the computer downstairs. Works fine. IO plates. And, uh. Here is the motherboard itself. I just put that on the board on there. Get out of the bag. There we go. I know, I know people are saying uh, put it on the bag or put it on the box or whatever, but come on, guys. There's no, no dust on the desk, really. How much more damage can it do? I mean, I know you, I'm going to get some comments saying. We're always going to do loads of damage, it could really muck up your motherboard, but don't worry about it, <laughs> really, it's just paranoia. Um, yeah, so the first thing I want to do then is install the RAM, 
That is the most simplest of tasks. Anybody can do it. Two uh, round slots in here. That's in. Simple as that. It's four gig of RAM in my motherboard now. Okay, if we pop this little, uh, this is a really bad camera angle. The lead isn't going any further. Uh, lift that little thing up there. I'm not too sure what, what the technical name is for it. Oh yeah, should I show you around the motherboard first? I think that's better. There's two RAM slots, guys. Here's your socket. Here's the I/O. It's all standard. Uh, PS2. Serial, VGA, four USB 2.0s, Ethernet, and audio. Uh, where's the audio? Uh, there, 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 there's the audio. It's a really awkward camera angle, guys. I'm really sorry. There is SATA controllers. Uh, PCI, X1, PCI, X16, and an all PCI. Card slots. There's the chipset. I won't be doing much gaming on this. I'll stick San Andreas and play light, light stuff on here. I might even actually try Modern Warfare 2 because I've actually got it on the Xbox, which is like right next to me. But I'll, I'll give it a go. I'll see how it runs. There's no harm in trying. Yeah. Anyway, let's open this up now. I'm really, really excited about this, guys. I know there's people making a thousand pound gaming rigs, I just don't have the money for it. I just want to build a computer really. It's just a fun fun kind of uh, task. Let me get the chip out here. Oops, the phone just came off then. There it is. Oh it's gory. Literally, you just drop it in. It's amazing how easy these things go in. A little triangle. And then you've got to match it up with a little triangle on the uh, motherboard. There we go. That's in. And then simply, this little guy. Oh, rubbish angle again, guys. I'm sorry. That little guy. Pop it in and your CPU is locked in place. There's no E's coming out. Okay, let's get the ha uh, fan out. I haven't got a third party uh, aftermarket fan. I think this will be fine. Apparently, I'm not sure if I can do it on this motherboard, but you can unlock a second core, or this uh, CPU is very, very overclockable. I'll, I'll have to look into that, but uh, if, it's, if it's easy enough, then why not? paste reapplied looks like a pretty decent fan actually doesn't look too shabby uh, yeah so now this bit is fiddly I've never liked this I have replaced CPUs on computers before and I really really do not like this bit so um bear with me guys dear god that little blue thing over and then uh, if I can see pop the fan in the connector done that'd be jubbly that's part one to my video basically guys um, when I get my case of course I'll have, that'll be my other part, it'll be um, everything else basically apart from the windows and insulation I'd say. Um, in the next part I'll have uh, hard drive, case, wiring, I'm not a fan of wiring, 
<laughs> I don't. It, it's a it, it's a boring. Hang on, I got it on my iPhone. I'll just show you it. Nothing special. It's like a uh, black with a little little acrylic, uh, red acrylic translucent stripe going through it. Looks pretty nice. I, again, I've just gone for the cheapest one possible. Don't know if you can see that. That's it. There we go. Sixteen pound forty seven, five ninety five postage, absolute bargain. I won't need uh, to do much cable management as to uh, make this focus again. As to um, cable management, getting everything hidden, I'll just probably ram it in there and go, yeah, okay. I, of course, I'm a, I'm a little bit thingy of uh, tidiness, but I won't bother too much about the cable management, so I won't bore you with that too much, but um, it'll probably be about a week away until the case comes. The delivery is slow. So, um, thanks for watching this video, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.